Heritage Band with two Finnish bands, Korpiklani and Valtteri. I've been working with Korpiklani before. We went uh, through Russia and Siberia in, on an 18-day tour. And, uh, but I haven't seen them since then, so it's quite nice to catch up with them in, in Osaka. I've always wanted to go to Japan. This is the first time that I'm able to do it. So it's quite interesting to see how Japan really is. My first impressions didn't really match with my romantic view of Japan. But of course, Japan is full of contradictions. You have the heavy industrial side of it in perfect harmony with the spiritual and cultural world. The culture shock didn't happen when we flew from Finland to Japan. There was this, this uh, somehow this sense of, of respect of your environment and your surrounding surroundings. There's something similar that we share. Maybe the mental landscape of Japanese and Finnish people are somewhat closer than, than we would think. And I think that one of the examples of that is that both of the cultures really respect silence. So I'm entering a temple site and uh, this is very close to our hotel. Our hotel was when I was on the road behind me, and uh, so this is kind of like a minute away. And it does look very beautiful and standing in this really interesting looking cemetery. And then, and then you have the car park across the road. Now this the top, and there's the actual hotel North Osaka, which is the hotel where we are staying. The temple where I was talking earlier is there. When you are the little roads, somehow it feels like you are back in time that there is no big city noise or anything. But here it's like like it is normally. I'll, I'll probably head back to the hotel because I think that Yon and uh, the band are about to arrive. So. the reason that you're very popular in Japan is that title catches people's um, curiosity and start listening and that's why you're famous. Uh, Spirit of the forest? Let's have, uh, let's have fun in the forest. Like se sexual. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's good work. <laughs> Great keep, success. keep on translating those subtitles. <laughs> Korpiklani arrived a little bit later than planned, as they missed a flight in Germany. Last time I met these guys was in Russia and Siberia. I'm sure this trip will be very different. After the long flight, it was time for a drink and a catch-up. After the drinks, we were heading to a venue to see a band called Creator that has a Finnish guitarist called Sami Ylisen. We also met Kertsu from Valtari and together we were heading towards the venue.
This video was made in 1992. I was sent to Poland by a British record label to make a video of this unknown Polish death metal band called Wade. Poland was a very different place back then because it was just few years after the Soviet Union collapsed. The trip was a great adventure and it would have turned into a really brilliant documentary. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that because we were still using 16 mm film and making a documentary with that would have cost a lot of money. To my surprise, Vader was playing in Osaka with Creator. And after all these years, I had a chance to meet up with Piotr or Peter, the main man of Vader. Osaka we had time before the evening kick to go to Kyoto. We had the taxi. Heading to the Silver Temple. So this was uh, built by a shogun in the 15th century. The Silver Temple area was a good example of the contradictions of Japan. Yesterday I saw the industrial side, today I saw the spiritual side. really was amazing everywhere we, we went to. And, uh, the very first restaurant where we went to was, was maybe the best one in the whole trip. Culture in gen general that really appreciates food, its, its colors, its shapes. And the whole Japanese philosophy around the food is just so beautiful. During the end of the trip we also went to a yakitori place and that, that was really a, a cool cool experience for myself. Tonight in Osaka. Yes. And at some point, at <laughs> some point, during the show, there will be a live Facebook video from the show, so stay tuned, keep your Facebook apps open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Osaka railway station, taking a bullet train to Nagoya. Should be like 15 minutes. We'll see. Everybody knows the cliché that the Japanese people are polite. For me, it felt like they really were polite. It wasn't just like a habit. I felt it really beautiful that these little nature temples and, and little shrines over, over a specific stone or some, some nature phenomenon, that they were so common and all over, and also that people used them, that they just casually dropped by and, and did their prayers and offerings. And, and it somehow felt beautiful to me to witness that, that those religious or maybe I should say spiritual habits were, were part of the everyday life of, of the Japanese. In, in a way they felt even closer to my own way of looking at this world than, than the Christian Europe does because there was this link to nature and, uh, and this pragmatic way of, of giving offerings to spirits, which, which is an ancient pagan um, uh, habit, giving offerings. That's what we, we did in Finland and Karelia. Oh, 
Our local promoter, Megumi, was an interesting combination of being polite and tough at the same time. You need that skill to work with the bands. Are you looking for village people? Yes. What this passion in life is to find all the rare vinyls in the world. Traveling with the band is a brilliant way to achieve this dream. These guys were fans of Korpekani and they were planning to come to the kick in the evening. These pet cafes were really kind of strange idea at first, but uh, nowadays we have uh, we have them spreading out all over the Europe. I, we even had one in Helsinki as a pop-up. <laughs> if this was a typhoon, I think we have them all the time in Britain. <laughs> Thank you. 
Valkyrie has been around since 1985, but weirdly enough, we have never met before. So it was quite interesting to see Kertsu and Valtteri performing in Japan. After Kimmo and Sarcophagus got retired in the early 80s, they became a band called Valtari from Finland. I'm the singer of the band. Everybody! We're very surprised uh, to find out that uh, there was not real interest uh, about Valtari in Finland. We tried many years to struggle. We got the idea to, 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 to go to Berlin and try our wings there. Uh, after one year, you know, we started to be a pretty big already in Germany. Uh, everywhere we played, people just fell in love with us, and it was like a, some some exotism. Yeah, and now it's year 2018, and Walter is still moving on. We are pretty much wondering that there are still not bands like us in the scene, which mix uh, open-mindedly everything in, in music, uh, and is still based on hard rock music. And the Japanese do know what I'm talking about, you know. Last year when we played there with Korpi Klani, three sold out shows in the big places. So maybe that's the reason we still want to move on because we know that we have still something to give to this, this industry. Another day, another bullet train. This time we are heading to Tokyo.
good audience, great concerts. You were so excited that you lost your legs. Right? Yeah. Yes, and, and brains. <laughs> When is this? I don't think it's any fun. Always. No, I but my walks are these kilometers of Amula. I think I'm going to be here at the end of the day. Okay. Bam, bam, God, old lady. Bye bye. It was time to say goodbye as Korpiklani was heading to China. Me and Valtteri were staying behind in Tokyo for a few more days. <laughs> It has been very interesting few days in Japan. Japan is full of contradictions. You have the traditional and the heavy industrial and all these things mixed up in a perfect harmony. Maybe it's a bit like heavy metal. All the Japanese girls really loved Vaari, Kimmo. Maybe because he looks lit a little bit like skinny Santa Claus. And of course Kimmo is always happy, so it's easy for other people to be, be smiling around him. He seemed to have really an enjoyable and good time. <laughs>